Hello and welcome. This video covers the results of reliability and failover testing that we completed using the IBM MQ environment. We used version 8, which was the generally available release at the time of testing. Now, this diagram provides a view of the architecture that was implemented for our testing. Using this architecture, the goal was to cover service availability through clustering, and we also wanted to provide message reliability using the IBM MQ multi-instance failover. And as you can see, each active queue manager has a corresponding standby queue manager on another server. Here we have a summary of our test results, and you can see that we completed a number of tasks, including a simple network interruption, regular shutdowns, and server failure. We checked for message duplication and message loss in each case using both point-to-point -point and publish and subscribe models. And as you can see, throughout all the test scenarios, the failover worked as expected with zero loss or duplication. Although there are obviously no specific tests where we can demonstrate a scenario failure, we still wanted to go ahead and show a quick demo to provide some insight into how we performed our testing. So the scenario we're going to demonstrate here is point-to-point -point request apply with a temporary network interruption. And we've already gone ahead and started up our IBM MQ environment for sake of time. But as you can see, the server one is running Q Manager 1 and has a standby for Q Manager 2. The next thing that we need to do is to create the actual queues that we're going to use in this test. Now, in our case, we need one for the JMeter test client and one for the responding server. Now, while we are copying and pasting these commands so that you get an opportunity to see them, as we mentioned in a corresponding administration and management introductory video, all of these commands can be used in a script to really help automate this process. And one more. Now we can go ahead and start up the responder and start the test. Now in this case, we are sending continuous messages to Queue Manager 3 so that we predictably know which server the messages are going through so that we can go ahead and disconnect the network from server number 3. And if we open up the console for server number three, we can see that there's no response when I hit the enter key. And key manager three fails over to server number two. So we'll go ahead and we'll monitor the environment while it fails over. Now this can take uh, up to a minute, so we'll pause the video and be right back. So we're back, and as you can see, the standby for Queue Manager 3 has detected the disappearance of Server 3 and is starting up to take its place. Now, before we can see the status of the original Queue Manager 3 on Server 3, uh, we will need to go back and restore the network connection. There we go. And we'll go restart the remote session. And now we can see that IBM MQ stopped Queue Manager 3 preemptively when it lost connectivity to the file share, just to avoid any conflicts for if and when it came back on the network. So let's go ahead and fully stop Queue Manager 3 here. And then we'll restart it so that it takes the standby position for the currently active Queue Manager 3 that's on server number 2.
Now, we're also going to go one step further and show QManager 3 falling back to the original server on, on server number 3. Because we are predictably stopping QManager 3 here, as opposed to introducing a new failure, the standby QManager 3 will take over in about 10 seconds. It does happen pretty quickly, so we won't actually need to pause the video here. So we can see that it has indeed stopped. And if we check back on server number three, we can see that it is now up and running. And despite all that activity and actually two failures, our test client continued to send messages and receive a corresponding response without any errors. So that includes this simple example of how we completed our reliability and failover testing for which IBM MQ passed in all cases. Finally, we do hope that this demo provided you with some valuable insight and as always, thank you for watching.